Welcome back. Let's work on the lesson. Which sign makes the number sentence true? So it says which sign, plus or minus, makes the sentence true? Well, I know that plus means to add and minus means to subtract or take away. So they want to know whether we would put a plus or a minus sign in this box. Let's try each one. Two plus one, does that equal three? Let's try. Two circles plus one circle. One, two, three. Ah, two plus one is equal to three. Let's try two minus one. One, two, and then we're going to take away one. That leaves us with one. So which one makes the equation true? Yes, plus, because two plus one is equal to three, as we saw here. Great, it is not that two plus one is equal to one. It is equal to three. Good. Okay, now they give us the problem two and then one is equal to three. So is it plus or minus? Let's try. Here's our plus sign for adding. Here's our minus sign for subtracting or taking away. Two plus one or two minus one. Well, I can see that there are one, two, three circles here and one circle here. So I can see that the plus sign would be the correct one because two plus one is equal to three. If we have the plus sign, our answer should always be larger than either of these numbers. So two plus one, the answer three is larger than either of these numbers because we are adding them together. Great. Now in this problem we have one and then plus or minus one is equal to two. Let's think about that. Do you remember how I said that if this number is greater than either of these numbers, then we're going to be adding? Let's make sure. So for adding, if we have one plus one, or subtracting if we have one minus one. Well, one plus one I can see here is one, two, and one minus one I can see is zero because we have no circles left. So I know that the correct symbol would be plus because one plus one is two. All right, which symbol is missing? Would it be two plus one or two minus one is equal to three? Remember, is this number greater than these? Yes, it's greater than either one so I know it will be a plus. Let's double check to make sure that equation is true. Two plus one. One, two, three. Yes, two plus one is equal to three. All right, let's try this one. Two, one is equal to one. So would this be plus or minus right here? Well, is this number greater than either of these? No, it's not. So what do you think that could mean? Let's try. One, two, and if we add one, it would be three, but we're not going to add, we're going to take away, subtract. How many do we have left? Yes, just one. So we know it is subtract or minus. So two minus one is equal to one. So it is this option. All right, let's do this one. Do you remember? Two, one, one. So we're missing either a plus or a minus. Is this number greater than either of these? No. 
So we know it's not plus. We know it needs to be minus. All right, let's take a look at this one. We have two and then either plus or minus one is equal to one. Well, remember, if this number is greater than either of these, then we're adding, but it is not. So are we adding or subtracting? Yes, subtracting. Good work. Let's try again. Would this be plus or minus? Yes, minus. If I hold up two fingers and I take away one of them, how many do I have left up? Yes, one. So we know it is minus. All right, let's look at our next problem. Three plus or minus one is equal to two. Well, is this number greater than both of these? No, it's not greater than both. It would have to be greater than both in order to be an addition problem. So I know we will be subtracting, but let's draw a picture to make sure. One, two, three and then we take away one. Ah, and then my answer is one, two. So it is subtraction. All right, let's try this one. Two plus or minus one is equal to one. So let's see, if we draw two circles and we add one, how many do we have? One, two, three. Nope, that's not right, we need to have one. So let's try subtracting. One, two, and then we take away one. Ah, we have one left. So we know we are subtracting. Amazing job, my friends.